my name is Ray. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you've been here before and you're here with me now, welcome back, girl. Today we're gonna talk about feminine products, specifically menstrual feminine products. This is probably TMI, but I am currently on my monthly. My sister and I went over to Target to get some feminine product stuff, and I picked up some organic tampons and some organic pads and she was just like why are you spending more money on that when you can just get tampons or something and I, it, it made me realize that not a lot of women are aware of the chemicals that are in everyday things that we put on our bodies but today we're just going to talk about feminine products and period products because these are things that we literally stick inside of our body and I feel like the vagina is one of the most sensitive parts of our body I feel like the entire body is sensitive but you know, your flower is just super sensitive. So, so today, why am, I, why am I hugging this? Today I just want to touch on briefly just some types of chemicals that can be found in tampons and pads for those women who are unaware. So some of the main chemicals that you'll find on your everyday advertised type of menstrual products, like the Always, the Tampax, like the bigger brands, you'll find that like the cotton that they use, they're really not 100% cotton, it's just some type of material. Some of those pads and tampons are made of artificial fibers. A lot of these feminine products are riddled with contaminants that cause birth defects, that are carcinogens that are linked to cancer, um, that cause fertility issues, dryness, um, irritation, and that sort of thing. And not just the pads and the tampons either, the feminine wipes that we use. Some of them have acetone in it. Acetone is an irritant that can be found and a lot of the feminine washes that we use, feminine wipes. And the scary thing about this is that the companies aren't required to really disclose on the packaging what chemicals are actually in their product. You can read the ingredient list if there is one. I need to, is there an ingredient list? Some of these things have an ingredient list and some don't because they're not required to tell you what chemicals are really in the product. But if you go to the website to whatever brand you use, they'll probably list it there. I used to use Always pads. So let's look at what Always has in there. So the Always pad was tested and they found something called styrene in it in the cotton or polyester fibers or whatever they use. They found styrene, which is a carcinogen, and a carcinogen is just a chemical that is linked to cancer that can cause cancer. Chloromethane, which is a re reproductive toxin. Chloroethane, which is a carcinogen. Chloroform. I've heard of chloroform before, but not in the discussion of menstrual products. It's a carcinogen, a reproductive toxin, and it's also a neurotoxin. A neurotoxin is basically a chemical that, that can interrupt your nervous system, which is like your whole body. And they also found acetone, which isn't that the same stuff we take our nail polish off with? This isn't even everything they found. I'll leave a link in the bottom bar so you guys can look and see like what they um, found. Whatever product you use, whatever brand you use, I suggest going online and checking and see what kind of chemicals are found in whatever it is that you're using. Because if you think about it, you're literally sticking something inside of your body and there's no quicker way for chemicals to enter the body than, than through in there. Like, you're directly sticking chemical up there. Just be mindful, because a lot of us have conditions, diseases, both mental and physical, and just all these impairments and issues. And we don't think about it being caused by something as simple as a pad or a tampon and we use these things every month on a consistent basis. I just think that it's, it's something we should really be considering and thinking about and, and being mindful of. So anyway, I've been using alternative menstrual products for the past year. I think it's been a year. And I just want to show you guys like my favorite things that I use. I like to buy the organic cotton tampons from the L brand. I saw these at Target, tried these for the first time and I loved them and so I continue to use them. I normally do not wear tampons, okay? I normally don't like to stick anything up inside because I have a I have a habit of clotting, but um, I wear these when I'm being active, when I'm running, or when I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking or a lot of standing when I'm at work or that sort of thing. Or just when I really simply don't feel like wearing pads. One thing that I have noticed with organic pads is that they don't absorb as much as the, the chemical -y brands. They don't absorb as much, but I wanna show you my favorite. These are period pads by Cora. And this is not a sponsored video, I'm just showing you what I like. On the side it says that they're free of chlorine, fragrances, artificial dyes, deodorants, toxic adhesives, acetone, rayon, which rayon, I'm really not picky about the type of um, fabric that I put on my body. I try to stick with cotton. Rayon is actually a toxic, it's a toxic material. It's free of polyester, chloroform, 
and some other scary ingredients. Yeah, my first time trying this brand, but I actually really like them. I used to use the L pads, but they don't absorb like really anything. I'll get into the L brand in a minute. One thing I like about this brand is for every pack that you buy, they give pads to girls in need, which is dope. They absorb really well. I don't have any like spillover or anything like that. I really like these. I bought them for $5.99 at Target for a 32 ultra thin regular with wings. The packaging is nice. You open it and then the pads right there. This is about the size of pad. Yeah, I like these. I like the packaging and everything. Even though packaging really shouldn't matter, but I like the packaging. I didn't see any tampons for the core brand, but I'm curious to know if they have tampons or not, because if they do, I might consider trying them. These are organic cotton tampons from the brand L. So L is one of my favorite brands. I really like L. I gave their pads a chance two different times. I got the regular ones. I, I swear to you, it was absorbing nothing. I experienced spillage or leakage. <laughs> TMI, but I do like their tampons. These are the super I normally use regular But sometimes I experience leakage with the regular because my flow is so heavy So I'm trying the super and the super kind of is too big for me to like stick up there But it does I don't experience any leakage But like the one thing I like about this though is the cotton is organic. It's free of chemicals It tells you on the back free of rayon chlorine chlorine dioxide and you know, the glues and polyester, fragrances, deodorants, adhesive, pesticides, alcohols, and all that sort of thing. I like the L brand, just the pads don't work for me. Let me know in the comments below if you tried the L brand pads, what your experience was like. It was just a mess, literally and figuratively, just a mess. But I do like their tampons, but I don't always like using tampons because like I said, I, I clot, so. These are for like, if I need, if I really need to plug up. And I've also tried the Diva Cup. And I do like the Diva Cup. The Diva Cup is effective and it works. This is the size one because I've never had children. But even the size one feels a little bit too big. The couple of times that I tried this, it worked really well. A lot of people cut the tail off. I don't cut my tail off. I need it there to grip and grab and get that out of there. It doesn't bother me. The only issue that I have with this is because I have fibroids. I have to be very strategic on how I place this in there because sometimes it'll hit the fibroid that's in my uterus it'll cause some pain or it'll push the fibroid that's in my uterus into my bladder and it'll make me feel like I have to pee when I don't have to pee it works if you insert it correctly it works let me know in the comments below like what kind of menstrual products you're using are you using menstrual cups have you tried a menstrual cup how did you like it what kinds of tampons are you using what kinds of pads are you using do you have allergic reactions that's one question that i have i've never had allergic reactions to all those brands with all the chemicals in them i never really had reactions but i did notice like the ones that had fragrance in them like a smell would kind of linger not a not a stench or anything but like a a certain kind of smell would linger like after like a couple days after my period was over that's the only thing i really experienced like no burning no itching or anything like that some people have allergic react like legit allergic reactions to some of these menstrual products so i'm interested in knowing like what your guys' journeys have been i'm pretty sure some people have some pretty interesting stories i feel better like I sleep better at night knowing that I'm being more conscious about like what I'm using on a month-to-month -month basis. It makes me feel good. Um, and also, I mean, I'm a person that has some health issues, so I'm trying to take care of myself in every and any area that I can and not make those issues or problems worse or give birth to new issues. You know what I mean? Like, um, let me know what products you guys are using, what kind of wipes do you use? Feminine washes, if you use them, I do not use feminine washes. My stepmom used to use lime down there. Hey, use lime on it. If it works, it works. My mom told me that in Belize when she, they had their menstruals, they used to use rags. Use rag, wash it, and reuse it again. Some women still do that. Some women actually buy the cloth that you can wash. I think they're cloth pads or cloth something you can wash. And I've seen women use those um, period panties. I don't know if I can do the period panty. That just sounds like a mess to me. Share your alternatives in the comments below. I look forward to reading and seeing what you guys are all doing and what's working for you guys and how you're avoiding chemicals on your end. If you enjoyed this video and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye!